That was the front nine. The back nine is much tougher. This hole's probably a little over 400 feet. You have to throw straight up to get over this rail. He's up and out. I heard it's a metal. I got no clue. <laughs> right on. All right, it's really tough throwing this high and getting distance, but let's see what we can do. Oh boy, it's got the turn. Ah, a little short, but you'll be out in the open. You'll be in the grass. All right, Sam, throwing up and over this wall. Oh. The back nine is already rearing its head. Oh, it's a good bit. About uh, 400 feet, a uh, little bit of downhill, but uh, let's see if I can get myself a putt. On the phone, doesn't matter. Say hi to your mom, guys. I'd have to talk to Alyssa, ask her like what all the ingredients. Just moved to six under. The max distance forehands have been working extremely well. All right, it's about 380 up the hill. Got to go left of the blue pole in the middle of the parking lot there, the white pole. Here comes Joel. Clipped a little bit of trees there. But it's actually coming out pretty decent. A little short, but a little bit high. Oh, beautiful line. Go! <sighs> Tickled. Hmm. Hey. All right, guys, next hole. Maybe you can see the basket right by that light pole. Oh, he got it. He squeezed it. It's coming down. Oh, he blinked it. Well, yeah, you almost hit the first one, so I guess it's right that you hit the second one. Left myself a bit of a tester here. That's what we like to see. Automatic. Amateur tester. There it is. Yeah. All right, guys, we've been cooling off a little bit. Let's see if we can heat things up with some birdies for you guys. We've been playing mostly par threes. This one's a par four. This is one of my favorite holes on this layout. It's got a luster destroyer in the hands. It just needs to fade back. 
clips that tree out into the landing spot. Go, go, go. Is it over? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. This is pretty out of position, but uh, I'm gonna see if I can go big, something flippy over the top. There's a whole sea of OB in between me and the basket, so let's see what we can do. Right underneath the big tree there. Oh no. Yeah, still circle's edge. Hmm. Too many pars for my liking. Too many bogues for mine. All right, another par four. Uh, there's a late Mando, we'll talk about that on the upshot. Uh, let's see what we got. It's gonna wind up pretty nice. Right, Joel has the, the power to push a, a hyzer to flat shot that far, but I don't. So I'm gonna take a different sort of approach here and try to turn something over, take advantage of as much forward distance as I can. Get out of that tree. Yeah, just... It's gonna make your upshot a little pinched, but not bad. Okay, so this hole used to be too easy. The mando is right about here. You gotta go right of it. The basket is over here. Going forehand roller or what? Backhand skip. I'm not really playing for the three here. Nice. Yeah, it's there for a long one. So the advantage of pushing to the right side off the tee, you got a much more wide open look at the basket. up there. For the fans, for the vlog. Uh, <laughs> Deep on the vlog. This is gonna be my first birdie in too long. Very unfortunate power on the last hole. Bring on the birdie. Just be better, Joel. Got a hole. Oh. It's rolling over. Circle two, maybe. Mm. Perhaps three. Yeah. Ooh, come on. Very nice. Nice shot. Oh. Yeah, whatever. Oh, nice. All right, Nando left of that tree with the bench against it. This hole might seem pretty easy once you get off the tee, but if you don't have a good tee shot, it gets real hard real fast. Got it down. It's 
rolling. It's rolling towards a couple people on the sidewalk. Oh, come on, come out of it. Goodness gracious. He's got a long eagle look. <laughs> I'm all right with that. Let's see if we can dunk this one in for an eagle. Oh, he gave it a run. Oh. Basketball. Bro, look at your footing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Can't be leading the viewers astray. <laughs> this hole's my favorite hole on the course. Par four. Here we go. T3 to hole six. Ooh, that was hot. Nice. That's a that's a hot boy. Oh, I thought I'd clip it. I can live with that. Sam's probably got somewhere in the neighborhood of 400 feet. Baskets down there, just to the left of the sign. Yeah, if I get there, it's gonna be luck. But I got through. Big Annie up, try to flex out flat, maybe land flat. Mm. All right, guys, I love this upshot. I uh, kind of got to pick your gap through the trees. Got the old signature TL. Get in, get in! Oh my god! <laughs> mm. Those were our last two putts on the last hole. Uh, mine went in for birdie, which means that I shot an eight under my new personal record. Uh, if you guys are in the area, definitely check out this layout, play it, see if you can beat my score. Um, Sam, it was so cool having you for old time's sake back at UNC and, and battling it out. It was nice being on the course again. Obviously this is way different than what we've played in the past, but a lot of nostalgia, feels good. And I finished even, Joel's neg eight, no bogeys. And he wasn't lying, the back nine was a lot harder than the front. Yeah, this is the best 18 hole layout that I've come up with on this course as of now. I'm sure I'll still make a few changes in the future, but uh, this is where it is for now. Uh, it was really cool seeing a different skill level play this course. It taught me more about the character of the course, what holes are kind of tougher and easier. It's just always a learning process just like this channel is. Uh, thank you all for hanging in there with me as I'm learning how to do videos, um, how to make all this stuff work. It's been very humbling and a, and a huge learning process for me. So uh, thank you guys all for the support, the feedback, uh, the comments. I'm loving it. You guys are awesome. Sam's awesome. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, turn that bell on, and we'll see you next time on Wholehearted.